Hi and welcome to this effects demo. In this video we are going to be looking at how to use effects within a FireMonkey application to really transform the user interface. Within FireMonkey there are over 60 effects as standard. On the left here we have a list of some of those effects and the effects have the ability to be able to used at runtime and at design time to change the look and feel of the user interface. So here we're going to apply some effects at runtime. So let's start off by having a look at a couple. Here's a blur effect. As you can see by turning it on it makes all the controls slightly blurred. You can still select the text, it doesn't disable any of the controls. However, if you want to disable the controls, then obviously that's something you can do. Let's have a look at my personal favourite one, the crumple effect, which I think looks absolutely stunning and still gives you the chance to be able to um, use the controls, select text. Now you can apply the crumple effect to the children of uh, a list box as well if you wanted to crumple those. There's some really useful ones for data entry. Now, if you think of the world of mobile phones and how the heads up display is making usability a lot easier, quicker, and simpler to use, then something that's quite common there is a glow effect to indicate either data that needs to be entered or data that hasn't been entered correctly. And you can mark glow effects either externally, there's also an inner glow which you can use. The, inner, the glow effects have a color property so you can change the color of the glow very quick and easily at design time or even update it at runtime if you need to. But so the best thing to do really is to have a play with some of these effects and to see which ones will suit what you're doing for your application. You know, there really are so many different types of things that you can do. Now using an effect is very simple, it's a case of literally dragging and dropping. So from the tool palette, from the tool palette we have over 60 effects that can be used. And it literally is just a case of selecting your control and double clicking on the effect and that will then be added to the control at design time. In the structure on the left hand side we can see the edit one and the blur effect on it. We can update the properties of the blur effect so we can make this softer so it's less blurred or we can make it really blurred. We can also enable and disable the blur effect. We can also set triggers easily for when the blur effect will be used. So for example, is mouse over, is focused, is visible, is drag over, and is open. Effects can also be moved from control to control. So for example, if we have a look here, we've got an image control. We can drag the blur effect to the image control and the image control now becomes slightly blurred. FireMonkey has this concept of parenting which enables you to build up controls um, within the IDE and using this we're able to add functionality onto a control at design time and to create our own custom controls in that way. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. For more information, please check out Embarcadero.com.